Hey, what's up everyone? How are you all doing today? Welcome to episode 3 of our Let's Play series of Adeptus Mechanicus with the Heretic DLC. Yesterday, we completed our first mission with some slightly upgraded tech priests. We got ourselves some more Blackstone here, so we're going to go and have a look, give them some more upgrades. So, last time, we got a little bit of armor into an armor slot, get some more HP for our guys. Uh, this time, we're going to unlock another augment slot to get one of these support objects in. Um, so we're going to go for the Coratio Claws so and get some healing on the go. So, rather than going down the same tree, we're going to choose the beginning slot of a new one. And we're going to go with this one here, which reduces the weapon's attack cock points by two. It's a really handy... Um, really handy skill to have for the guys, especially early on. So, we've now got a free augment slot of a grace banner. We're going to drag our, drag our Croatio Claw, put it into one of these blue boxes. Doesn't matter which one, they both do the same thing. And then we're going to do the same with the next guy. I'm going to choose a different upgrade though. We're going to do this one. This cog point's quite hard to come by at the moment, so we're going to get this one which generates a cog point at the beginning of the turn. We don't have any in our gauge at all. We can do the same again. Grab Coratio Claw up there. So we've got some healing skills now. So, we've only got two missions to choose from. I think this one's left over from last time. And we've got this one here as well. Uh, this one we can actually unlock a new unit, which is pretty cool. But I want to go for this one. I'm desperate to get this cog gauge upgraded a little bit. So, we're going to see flayed ones, necron warriors, and necron destroyers. So this could be a little bit more interesting. Now, I'm pretty sure at the end of the last episode we unlocked a new canticle, which we did. So we've now got three. One that restores H 5 HP on the active unit. One that gives us extra free physical damage to a physical attack. And one that gives us six extra damage to physical attack. Let's see what these guys have to say. Fortune of Mars be with you. So, setting up one objective marker. Just count the routes. I've got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. So we're going to go for a short route. We're going to go down the middle. Xenos language study opportunity. Wildex doesn't like that though. Hark not to the aliens' words, lest ye unknowingly repeat them. This chamber is bathed in a constant data flow transmitted by the tomb's own awakening protocols. This transmission must be of or Necron origin. So, do we delegate? Relay the transmission of the Kestis Metallican for translation. Dismiss, block out transmission from squad communications and pay it no more mind. Or decode, attempt to decode transmission locally with the cohort's internal cogitators. Cogitators. Uh, I don't want to dismiss because it seems like a wasted opportunity. Delegating to the Kessler's Metallican could be good. Could also be sending a virus their way. So let's decode it locally. See what happens. Hey, Scaviola's happy. Fascination. So we've got plus one of the awakening, which isn't great, but we do have two CP points. It's great. It's gonna help us in our battle. Hello. 
direct request, bring it to me. Indirect request, he wants this, whatever it is. The cohort finds a sarcophagus containing a Necron destroyer that seems inert. It may have malfunctioned and failed to respond to the tomb's awakening protocols. Take, open the sarcophagus and try to retrieve the destroyer inside. Tag, mark the sar sarcophagus's location for Skatari units to retrieve what they can. Trash, destroy the sarcophagus. It will be one of fewer Necron to fight. Well, we were sold quite clearly. Take, so let's take. Ah, no. Lost a couple of HP on one of our guys. Curse that, that dude for being greedy. Was it Faustinius, I think, wasn't it? Any mini money, mate. Oh, 2 HP to a servant if I hadn't lost any isn't much use. So, let's get into the battle. I like this text of the old cog version 12, or verse 12, I'd imagine. Do not surprise us with new trickeries. Be alert. So, for starters, let's push the guys forward a bit. Now, we've only got this one enemy at the moment, but if you see these structures here with the green glows coming from them, enemies can and probably will be coming out of them at some point, so just gotta be a little bit wary of that. So there's one coming out already. So, I think what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and push these guys as far forward as we can. And we're gonna push down towards this end, take on this guy first, I think, rather than the big guy. I think we are gonna get him there. Uh, Gain the CP point back. And I'm gonna shoot him more than anything just to get his stats. And we did one little bit of damage. So let's just poke him back in here. End his turn, I think. Keep him safe. Do the same this guy. Bring him down here. Get an extra point. Tuck him right behind. So they're both ready to pounce on this next turn. So right, we can heal ourselves a little bit now. We've got those Croatia claws. So, do we go straight in there for big guy? Right, first, let's shoot him, get some stats, see what the crack is. I think what we're going to do is, we're going to get that guy in. We're going to use this to um, reduce our weapon cost. So, see how it's going to cost one cog point. We're going to use this skill, that's going to make that free to use, just for the one round. So we've only got the one cog point left. We need to use that right now to heal him. Oh, we just, oh brilliant, you got the cog point from the um, skill that we learned. Okay, so let's try and make the most of this. Alright, so I'm going to put him here. And this means that he's going to be in the middle of both these guys. So, as you can see, we've got the opportunity attack possibly on both of them. I think, again, we're going to use this just to try and save every point we can get. And we're going to use a can score this time. 
We really want to deal some big damage to this big guy. So we're going to use this one to give us an extra six physical damage to our physical attack. So see how it's going to do nine to 11 rather than, I think after you used it here, would we'll say it should be about four to five. Three to five. Which, you know, we pretty much doubled our, our attack there. Could use the last point to heal, but he's on 12, so we're going to stick with that for a bit. Brilliant, so we've got the opportunity attack on that guy. Killed him. Opportunity attack on that guy. Didn't kill him, but knocked him down a bit more, which is great. Five health, that is not great, especially when he's pumping out seven damage. Oh, looks like we've got another warrior coming. Yep. Great. I will get one in, just to be a little bit of fodder for him. Brilliant. I think if I hadn't have done that, that guy would have got shot and he would have got killed. Let's get in there, it's still in the blue. At least get a little bit of black stone. I'm not going to waste the attack on trying to blow it up, though. He's only on four. Yeah, let's try and wipe him out. Oh, brilliant. That's a big, big worry gun now. He's dead. So, our main mission was to kill that destroyer. Now we killed that destroyer. Let's turn this. Ah, we've actually got to kill all enemies now. So sometimes you think you're near the end of the mission and then it can throw a bit of a spanner in the works. So it's got to be a little bit prepared. Now he is line of sight of that guy, but I'm just going to leave him there for now. He's only doing three damage, that's okay. We can take a few of them. First things for oh now I've got the skull I can skull that. I don't want these guys to be animating. Give a server a skull on that, get another CP point. I'm just gonna tuck him in behind there. Just heal up a bit. There we go, another warrior. Things are hotting up. No, can't do that. She's only got one turn to reanimate, so we definitely want to be. Getting rid of him now. Why is he going to come back? So we start knobbling these warriors down a bit. No CP, can't do anything else. Cool, that's nice. Got money opportunity attack. Let's leave our scarabs for now. Let's concentrate on this warrior up here. The scarabs are going to come to us. It's only on eight. This could be a good kill. Um, okay, so I'm not going to make an attack here. So I've used my last point up, but I'm in melee range, so if he tries to walk away from me. I am going to get a hit on him. There we go. Just like that. So I've still got to make an attack on him one way or the other. Oh, he's doing four. So I can take one more of them. I need one more. So I don't really want to waste this attack here. 
because we've got the machine spirit attack on the axe and that makes it more powerful. But if I walk away from the scabs, they're going to attack me. So I've got to use this strong attack up on them. Let's just go and help this guy out a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to heal up just in case. So I think we've still got one warrior to come from this door down here. So I'm just going to preempt that really. See, I'm getting some acid burn over time. That's um, another perk we can unlock in a bit to try and heal that. Definitely not yet. Right, so how much health has this guy got? Three? So that's him dead. Gambler. Yeah, this is attack them. Play it safe. turn fast, that's not a good one. Should definitely need to get rid of this guy, otherwise he's going to come back to haunt us very shortly. It's quite odd because when we went into that mission beforehand, it said that we could have had some flayed ones. No flayed ones turn up. It's quite odd. But anyway, mission complete. The cohort withdraws from the tomb, having experienced the prowess of the Necrons destroyers firsthand. If nothing else, the Adeptus Mechanicus have learned of the stark danger these Necron warforms pose. Oh, our comprehension index has gone up 3.9%. Alright, so we lost a fair few points on them being a bit bit of hurt and we've got a three on the awakening level so we've already done two missions and only accumulated three percent but we're going to accumulate another three just on this one so if you don't destroy those terminals it can can make a bit of a difference hey we've got another canticle next to attacks will ignore all armor it's pretty cool anymore no just a one there we go guys that's the end of today's episode um, another successful mission Got some more black stone again, which we'll spend up in the next one. Get some more upgrades. Um, we got our cog gauge increased a little bit, which we won't be able to see till the next mission. But we should be on five rather than four now. So we're slowly um, building up a little bit more strength. Getting, getting ready. Um, well, that's it for today. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. Once again, all comments, feedback, more than welcome. We'd love to hear from you. And stay tuned for the next one. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.